Ciao. Buonasera. It's me. I'm uh, sitting in front of the old urban or city police building. Uh, it says it's Fondazione Teatro Massimo. It used to be. Oh, apparently it is, it is now a office of hygiene, local hygiene. It's uh, 9.15 p.m. here on our first day in Sicily. Um, I want to say first day in Palermo, but it's really only a half day because we got into Palermo today about uh, 2 30 p.m. and didn't get the car till 3 3 15 and then it took about an hour for us to find a hotel because the streets once you get off the main highways the streets in Palermo are are, are labyrinthine they they just uh, I got lost even though I had a GPS and the GPS was not helpful, it wasn't as good as uh, Waze. I'm gonna have to try to use Waze tomorrow. And I'm paying extra renting for the, the uh, GPS. There's just so many streets that are short and they're not well labeled. As I may have mentioned, they retain the use of the old stone placards uh, they go back probably at least a century or more uh, on the buildings and some of them are worn and some have newer street signs, some do not. So you, it's easy to miss your street even when we left the hotel to walk from the hotel to the Teatro Massimo, which is not far. Again, it's so labyrinthine that you end up going in the wrong streets. And if you go in the wrong street, you end up in a little narrow, very narrow alley, which is not too pleasant. Um, another note, which is very interesting, um, when I was boarding our flights uh, yesterday morning in Houston, I was stopped uh, at the security point by one of the sniffing dogs, and I had to go to the side, and they went through everything, every of uh, my suitcase, my backpack, pocket, I mean everything, I don't know why, and they swabbed it. No explanation. Um, and then, when I came, it, I mean, we sailed pretty much through pretty well uh, f out of Miami into Zurich, and then Zurich to Palermo. When I arrived in Palermo, we went through their final security. The sniffing dog, the Italian sniffing dog, stopped me, and they had to pull me over. And it wasn't as thorough, but they told me that it was the customs, and they asked me, are you carrying more than 10,000 euros? Uh, I told them I only had Otanta, which was 80 euros on me. So I have no idea why these dogs, both uh, here and uh, across the Atlantic, uh, are sniffing me and, and, and singling me out. I have no idea. But it's disconcerting because I don't know what it is they're smelling. Or what could they possibly be smelling? Um, I don't have any anything on me. No gunpowder residue, I'm not carrying any knives, uh, just a lot of uh, USB cables, uh, video camera, which is what I'm using now, my phone, a couple, uh, a selfie stick, and a small tripod, which I was going to use for this. Um, I don't know, but uh, needless to say, uh, this was a pretty uh, rushed and, uh, um, and frustrating day, so uh, we only were able to go out... Uh, after we checked in the hotel, we went out and uh, we took a shower, and then we went out and walked toward the Teatro Massimo. I had a couple beers. I asked for Guinness, and they didn't have any. So I tried, um, as you may see in another video, uh, a Danish beer, but it was 10% alcohol, and I just did not want that because it was very hot and we were sweating. So Lynn drank it, um, and I finished her Beck. And then we went to a restaurant, pizzeria, where we ordered a calzone each. But the calzones, when you order them just for your 
I don't know if it'll be like this where you go, but when you order a calzone here in a pizzeria restaurant, the calzone is the size of a full pizza. They literally take a pizza and they fold it, and that's your calzone. So, the, I mean, I was not in the mood, uh, uh, digestively or otherwise, to sit there and eat a whole pizza. Uh, yeah, Palermo is a very busy, very old, uh, and on the side streets, a pretty dirty uh, city, unless you go into the main piazza, uh, where all of the historical buildings are. So we are supposed to get up tomorrow and have uh, colazzoni by 8 to, 8 to 10, 10 o'clock, I think. And we have to check out by 10.30 because we would like to try to visit, um, I'd like to try to visit uh, the Capella Palatina um, in uh, the Norman Palace, uh, famous for the Byzantine uh, dome mosaics. I'd like to try to do that. It's not that far to walk. It's just a matter of finding it because it is easy to get lost here. I asked for directions several times, and um, the people were very friendly. They, they, you know, helped out. One lady gave me her directions in Italian. I knew what she was saying. Um, but I, I honestly, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it's it, unless you're going to be staying here for a week where you can you know, visit a lot of places. And again, it takes a lot of getting used to the streets, the street layout. If you're driving, which I am, uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. I luckily was able to find a parking space right over there, that gray car. Luckily, I have a park, which is good. People are still walking out in the streets. It's uh, 9.30. Oh, it, uh, they like the passeggiata, which is the walks, evening walks, which they used to do. Um, for a while there, back in the 70s, 80s, even 90s, it uh, wasn't recommended. Uh, just, be, just because of the ladri, just the thieves. But um, we ran into a couple beggars. That was it. I mean, there really isn't anything else to do here at night except the uh, bistros, cafes, restaurants. Uh, I did not get a granita or an arancine, which is what I wanted to get today. Um, Lynn had said she wanted to have a beer, and then she ended up having a wine at the pizzeria restaurant. And I was a little concerned about that because we have to walk back. and. If I'm not walking with her, she's going to be stumbling. But anyway, we got back. So uh, tomorrow, we're going to try to see something in the morning here. And then we have to get back on the roads and find a way to get the hell out of Palermo. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Uh, this getting out to find the main highway, which I believe is a 19, it's a 820. Or is it E90? I forget. It's, it's, one, it's one of the main ones where we're going to drive to Capo d'Orlando, um, where we have our second hotel stay. But I'm telling you, doing this one whole one night uh, stay at hotels is really going to be getting old pretty quickly. So that was the first day.